What's up, YouTube? You're inside the edge, and I'm back with another episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. Today is going to be a video where I'm just going to pretty much recap this Patriots season. I'm going to talk a lot about Bill Belichick. Maybe the portion of this video, I'll talk about Bill Belichick. But there's a lot of moves to be made for New England. This is going to be an interesting offseason. And before we even talk about the, the NFL draft, before we even talk about free agency, we have to talk about Bill Belichick and what's going to be the move for Bill Belichick because he's pretty much standing in the Patriots' way as far as what the future is going to look like. Um, you know, as of right now, the Patriots, they do hold the third overall pick. They are projected to have 74 million in cap space and the Patriots have 19 restricted free agents. And I'll read you a couple names, but we do have Kyler Duggar, Josh Uche, Michael Wino, um, Hunter Henry, Kendrick Bourne, Ezekiel Elliott, Farrell Brown, um, you know, Mike Kosicki. There's um, a, a bunch of guys on this roster that is going to be unrestricted free agents. And that begs the question of Bill Belichick, um, you know, with this upcoming offseason, it just makes all you know the most sense to go a new direction because if you if the Patriots had to you know rebuild rebuild from scratch this is the the year to do it because we have the money with 74 million dollars and with the third overall pick if we were to bring in a new coach if we wanted to just push Bill Belichick out the door and bring in a new coach then that coach will have the you know a good feel for okay this coach has enough time to pick their quarterback and also they'll have time to restructure this offense so that's like the tweener when it comes to Bill Belichick right now. And also, Bill Belichick, we, we're making it seem like this is a do or die right now. Remember, guys, Bill Belichick is still under contract for one more year. So th that's also the argument with some people is, you know, give him one more year to really figure things out. Because I truly believe that I, we weren't a part of the Zoom call, but we know Bill Belichick, he probably came with a bunch of excuses to why this Patriots team underachieved this year. I could see it based off of what we've been seeing in his press conferences because a lot of it he does do the point thinking like if this happened then this would have happened if this person this and i know when he talks to robert Kraft, he's going to be saying like you know we lost our best pass rusher this year and judon um you know and just it was just impossible to win with mac jones guys um i know that's going to be a big time discussion right there but i know bill belichick you know he he has these excuses you know but at the same time this was the roster that you built this was the roster that you created. You know, Juju Smith was the guy that you paid for. You know, you kicked out Jacoby Myers, and this guy is, is catching touchdowns with the Raiders. Um, you know, Jack Jones, he's catching pick sixes for the Raiders. So there's a lot of mistakes that Bill Belichick has, you know, made throughout the last past three years, I would say, even just handling Mac Jones. I don't think Bill Belichick handled Mac Jones the right way. And just hiring, you know, Matt Patricia, it just seems like Bill Belichick, um, you know, he did not, um, implement enough on offense um, this up you know this past offseason you know he did not implement enough and we've seen a downfall guys this offense did not produce enough numbers we were ranked dead last in offense this year I will say that Bill Belichick one thing I will credit him for is our defense our defense did play up to par I feel like our defense never really let up throughout the season I think our defense kind of got better our defense got better after like the that Saints game I think our defense started projecting and going a better route. And I will say that even when the Patriots were 2-10, and 10, I, I feel like Bill Belichick did not lose this locker room. I still feel like guys were all in. I feel like guys played hard. No one, you know, no player gave up. I think every, play, every player on defense gave it they all. And there's going to be a lot of big free agent signings with, with Kyler Duggar. I think he, he played himself into a contract. Um, Jabril Peppers, I think he he played himself into a contract. So there were some really good play, some good pieces on his defense. So with Bill Belichick, guys, the biggest question is for you guys: Do you think the Patriots should give Bill Belichick one more shot? Do you think we should give him that third overall pick, seventy four million in cap space, and for him to have the responsibility to sign nineteen of the unrestricted free agents? How do you guys feel about that? You guys definitely need to drop a comment down below because that's what it's, that's what's at stake here. And again, I also understand that if we wanted to, if the Patriots want to go on a rebuild, this is the perfect season to do it. Because again, whatever coach comes in to this team, they can pick their quarterback with the third overall pick. They'll have $74 million to play with. And also, you know, just to, just to restructure this team with free agency, I think that's what's going to determine. And, um, you know, we get to see what's going to happen moving forward. But it's going to be a lot of um, responsibilities on a lot of parts and the only people that know what's going on is Bill Belichick, Robert Kraft, and Jonathan Kraft. Those are the only three people that knows what's going to happen within the next few days, next few weeks. 
But again, guys, we're just going to stay tuned. And again, there's all different type of scenarios. I know that the Arizona Cardinals, the Chargers, the Commanders, you know, those are teams that are looking at Bill Belichick because those are teams that don't have really any direction as far as GM, no culture and no co no coaching. So Bill Belichick can fill all of that for a lot of those teams and they're going to only pay one guy. And I think that's why Robert Kraft has had Bill Belichick for all these years, because it's only one guy that's the boss. And a lot of people don't want to be bosses. So with that being said, guys, I don't want to wrap up this. I want to wrap up this video. I don't want to make it too long. But um, as of right now, guys, there's nothing. There's no breaking news or anything like that. But how do you guys feel about the Patriots? Should the Patriots bring back Bill Belichick with the third overall pick, the $74 million and the unrestricted free agents? Or should the Patriots go a new route, get a new coach to find their quarterback? And, and even, you know, coaching as well. So, again, there's so much to, to dabble into, guys. But this is just kind of like my recap video. And, um, you know, I definitely just feel like, you know, this Patriots team, um, you know, this was just another bad season. And just to read you guys the league leaders on this team, you know, Mac Jones, he was the um, leading passer for this team with 2,120 yards. Ezekiel Elliott led this team in rushing with 642 yards. Demario Douglas, the rookie, led this team in receiving yards with 661 yards. Jawan Bentley led this team in tackles with 114 tackles. So there are some key players that's going to stick around um, and, that, that, and definitely has a future for the Patriots. So it's, there's some good names there. And um, I'm going to continue to talk some Patriots, guys. I'm going to talk a lot about um, the free agents we have. I'm going to do a video on that. Um, you know, I'm going to talk a lot about the draft. So it's going to be very interesting, guys. And for you Patriot fans, like, look at me, guys. I have a smile on my face, guys. Like, relax. You know, I understand we didn't make the playoffs, but we have next season. You know, we did. football continues. Football goes on. So I hope for you Patriot fans, I hope you guys feel the same way. But I also understand the frustration with Bill Belichick. So um, with that being said, guys, I hope everyone's having a good day. Drop a comment down below. What route do you think the Patriots should take? I want to hear you guys' opinions and let's trade some dialogue guys let's get some dialogue in the comments section so until next time have a good day see you guys in my next video peace